Hey Cancer, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Tuesday, March 2nd. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. At the heart of your reading, we have the King of Cups reversed and the Two of Pentacles. This is confessing your level of stress. Like, I've taken on a lot and keeping everything afloat is so emotionally draining. Here's how I feel about it. Here's how it's been affecting me emotionally. Not having anything left to give is the challenge. Seven of Pentacles reversed. You know, despite how busy I am, despite all of the responsibilities that I'm shouldering, what am I getting out of this? It's like other people are reaping the benefit. Your focus, we have Judgment in Reverse and the Knight of Wands. You. <laughs> okay. I, it, it seems like you really want to make some bad decisions. Um, like, I, I'm, I'm so stressed of doing everything that's, that's expected of me. I just want to act out. I just want to go out and do something foolish. I want to do something irresponsible. And that's born out of the restriction that you're you're under. In the recent past, we have the Five of Cups going through a period of loss, disappointment, I have a feeling you're still connected to that energy. I don't think it's something that you've moved on from. But it's part of why you're staying busy. I'm also seeing like on the one hand you have this person who is not contributing their emotions toward you, but they're still in your life. They're not investing in you, they're investing themselves elsewhere, but you're still holding on to them in your life. And you want to go out and make some bad decisions with someone who is attractive and fun, or you want to be that attractive, fun, go out and seize your frivolous experience, like breaking free from the limitations that you're under. Show me the energy of the environment. Ah, love it, the Empress. Spirit wants to lift you up, wants you to be feeling your best. And maybe this experience is an important step in that direction. Like breaking out, breaking free from the restrictions doing something frivolous and um, I I'm a bit tongue-in-cheek when I say a bad decision, right? It's like um, Vince Vaughn's catchphrase. Uh, maybe what we need to do is go out and make some bad decisions. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Vince Vaughn, but uh, <laughs> if you're curious, I'm sure there's a lot of clips of him saying that if you want to get the, the, the sense, the mood, the hashtag mood behind what I'm trying to, to get out there with the uh, it's like a fun, adventurous, like something good for you, but not good for you at the same time. Sort of bad decision. 
in the near future. We have the Four of Cups. Hmm. I feel like your King of Cups is going to come around offering you something and you're not going to be interested this time. You're going to be busy with other things. Up until that point, you've been busy doing things that would support this King of Cups character. And in the near future, you're busy doing things that don't involve him. Show me surprise energy. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Uh, this is victory. It's a, a fresh new start in... Um, in an understanding, a piece of information, uh, a clarity. Something that has presented itself to you before, but you haven't seen it. Page of Pentacles reversed is, spirits taught you this lesson before, but you haven't learned it. They're gonna get through this time, loud and clear. It's going to resonate so strongly. It's just going to be like a, a eureka moment. Like, oh, wow. It's going to it's going to feel important. It's going to be unique to each individual. What this what this clarity is. It's like spirits going to ring you like a bell. Your hopes and fears. We have the page of swords in reverse. You are dreading some bad news. Which means you're expecting some bad news. Well, if you're expecting news that brings clarity, you're going to get the clarity. Part of me wonders, because we have the lovers here at the bottom of the deck, whether you go out and meet someone, make a bad decision, and you're hoping, I hope they don't call. I hope I, I never hear from them again. What did I just do? <laughs> and, and they might be keen to see you again. Show me the end result. For cancer. King of Swords reversed. Making a bad decision. Okay, they're being playful with us now because I've I've woven that uh, thread through the story here. King of Swords is the decider in the reverse, he makes a bad decision. <laughs> so literally they're they're playing this game with us. Um with that I, I'm not sure if I'm expressing the the type of bad decision I'm talking about very well so let me give it a give it another try just to make sure I'm being clear um, it's like something you normally wouldn't allow yourself to do it's a bit irresponsible but it's not hurting anyone and it's a bit of fun it's um, It's going to vary depending on your own morality, your own sense of ethics, um, the rules that you have for yourself. It's like you're going to break some of those rules in a way that's liberating, in a way that's empowering, in a way that makes you feel more brave, more attractive, um, more worthy of other people's attention. A, a bit of putting yourself in the spotlight. Those of you who wanted me to mention his name again, the, the, the person that I'm quoting, it's an actor. His name is Vince Vaughn. 
he has that quote, let's get out there and make some bad decisions. I think he, he, he improvises that line into every movie he's ever been in, I think. <laughs> okay. And your advice. Um, don't feel like you need to give and give and give and never receive. When people are in need um, and they look to you to give, they can look somewhere else as well. You're not the only source of what they need. Don't feel like you are beholden to any sort of imbalanced giving and receiving relationship. Spirit wants you to correct this energy and be in reciprocal situations where when you give, you also receive. Cancer, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.